Welcome to the weekly supervised indoor Wi-Fi positioning demo presented by Qualcomm AI Research. Passive positioning using radio frequency, otherwise known as RF sensing, can be useful both in homes as well as enterprises for tasks such as intrusion detection, asset tracking, and smart energy usage. Unlike cameras, it is not influenced by lighting conditions, so it works well in the dark. Plus, since it does not capture visual data, it also safeguards privacy better than other technology solutions. Passive Wi-Fi positioning works by analyzing the channel state information, or CSI, that Wi-Fi devices require for communication. As a subject walks through the Wi-Fi signal, small disturbances occur that allow the Wi-Fi to be used as a radar. Correctly interpreting the RF signal to extract the location of human subjects is challenging though due to the complex nature of RF signal propagation. Existing solutions are often demonstrated on small floor plans within controlled lab environments and require labels for supervised learning. Our new machine learning based methods mitigate this problem. They work on large floor plans and only require weekly labeled training data and a floor plan. The two frameworks at the basis of this are OT Isomap and Y Cluster. The first framework, OT Isomap, formulates the localization problem in the context of parametric manifold learning while leveraging optimal transportation, or OT. The model jointly learns the 2D intrinsic space of the input data and its mapping onto a given topological map of the floor plan. It can be applied on many different modalities like RF, vision, or acoustic. The method solves the localization with only room labels and a floor plan and it's applicable in real-world scenarios. The second framework, Y cluster, uses a clustering loss, which is inspired by recent advances in self-supervised learning in computer vision. It maps the high-dimensional Wi-Fi channel state information to a 3D latent space while preserving global topological structure. A triplet loss is added to enhance temporal consistency. Using an end-to-end -end training approach, the latent space is simultaneously shaped to match the real world space by making use of priors, such as the floor plan and a small set of room level annotations. Our paper presents several real world data sets to demonstrate that Y cluster can handle real world deployments. These data sets were recorded in two office buildings and a two-story home. These environments are challenging because they offer no line of sight between the transmitter and receiver and include furniture, concrete walls, and other obstacles. Using three to four access points, both methods demonstrate about one meter accuracy in multi-room, multi-floor environments with a 150 to 400 square meter floor surface area. This demo shows what can be achieved with our two technologies, OT Isomap and Y Cluster, paving the way for passive positioning solutions that can be easily implemented in smart homes, company buildings, and cities.